If you know North Dakota, you know about the Norris Coast Fest. The showcase in Minot remains a big draw for people with Scandinavian roots. KX News' Lauren Davis joins us live there at the festival now to tell us more about this year's big show. Hello, Lauren. Hey, Joel. I'm here at the North Dakota State Fairgrounds for the Norris Coast Fest. The Norris Coast Fest brings in visitors from all over the country and even the world. I spoke with two festival attendees to see what brought them here and why the, North, the Norris Coast Fest is so important to them. Norse Cust Fest is held annually in the fall, and after two years of being sidelined, it's back. And so are the many people who attend every year. Joanne Trudell has been coming to the Hust Fest from Colorado for at least 15 years, after a friend told her about the event. All of my people immigrated from Norway, so have grown up in the Scandinavian family. And I think this is a wonderful gathering. She would attend the festival with her husband, but he passed away. So instead, she brought her other relatives so they could learn the history of their ancestors. Well, I think it's very important to learn about your... I've been to Norway one time, so um, many years ago, and um, <clears throat> it's a very interesting thing to learn about. Trudell says while she's in Minot for the festival, she's there from the beginning to the end. I spend most of my time right here at the Hoost Fest. Enjoy all the entertainment. So it's, it's just a great thing to come to. Bob Furterer has been volunteering at the Hust Fest for seven years. He says he attended Hust Fest before he started volunteering. We enjoy talking to different people and, and, and meeting different uh, culture. You know, and this here is a different culture. I, I'm not a lutefisk eater, but they, they do serve it. Furterer says he enjoys volunteering at the festival because of all the people he meets and the exposure to Scandinavian culture. We came here a couple of years, and then, uh, you know, I, before I retired, and I, I said, you know, this would be fun to just come and volunteer for, for a week, you know, or whatever days they have, you know, like... This year, we're going to do four days. Joanne Trudell and Bob Furterer are both attending the festival every day. This is my first time ever at the Norse Cust Fest, and I love being able to immerse myself into Scandinavian culture. Right now, I'm throwing a ring on a troll, and I'm going to make sure to try some of the authentic foods before I go. Back to you, Joel. Thank you, Lauren. I recommend starting with the Lefsa. I don't know if you'd much care for the Lutefisk, but the Lefsa is a good place to start with a little butter, a little sugar. It's always a hit. Thanks so much, Lauren. Well, me